one thing that I consider myself to be by Rally 20. This one night I was watching Jungle Street with Jill Ireland. I mean, I had it on and I was listening to it while I was playing a couple of games of Connect 4 on the internet and anyway. She got introduced to do her dance number before she got mixed up with David McCallum, who was a stupid bastard in it. Joe Ireland is a very, very hot girl. Anyway, the old girl, the old lady who introduced her in it said, exotic and tantalizing. So I wrote that down after I beat the chumps on the Connect Four. I wrote, one thing that I consider myself to be is exotic and tantalizing. Then I had a funny feeling and the rest of it come out real quick, except I had to keep reading it over now and again during the next 24 hours, and when I done that, a few words here and there were seen to be required to be inserted in a purely additive process. The fact that there were no words deleted in that rigmarole strongly supports my impression, understanding and experience of spontaneity as exclusive source in it, and demonstrates to me that I have not failed in it by allowing any conscious aspiration to mar the beauties I have here presented. I am fortunate and special and wonderful. I know that now. One thing that I consider myself to be is exotic and tantalizing. Exotic and tantalizing as a thing, an entity in your mind or elsewhere. As exotic, intoxicating, tantalizing, and desirable, I mean, you want me. I know that. You need me. I know that. You must have me. I know that, of course. And you burn for me as well. You evaporate. To possess, you pine, you exalt, you blaze, you hunger, you dry, you kneel to meet, you desiccate in the avid terror, the furnace of your own compulsory requirement for me, with a rising and a welling, a naked and degrading and an ecstatic fury, for me. And so you are then and always, assuredly, Incontinent, deranged, exposed, used, humiliated, drawn, articulated, finished, rotten, disposed, and consumed in me.